I feel like we're asking the same questions over and over again because this, the question is, can these tech stocks keep going up? Morning, Andrew. Well, I think they can, because when you take a look at earnings growth, uh, which is expected to be much stronger uh, this year than the S&P 500, also positive gains next year. The long-term growth rate for the tech sector at 13 percent is better than that for the overall marketplace. And on a relative valuation basis, it's actually trading at a discount, 14 percent discount to the S&P 500 uh, over the last 20 years. So there's still good upside potential. And if we end up having to go back into a, a yellow mode, if you will, for the COVID situation, again, there's going to be increased demand for technology to re in order right. to work and live from home. What do you make about the, the, the broader prognosis for the economy and the market? You look at the airlines this week, they're down, I think, uh, about 8 percent across the board. That clearly uh, has to be weighing on confidence in terms, of, in terms of where we are as a country and how quickly we can proceed. True. Uh, also, taking a look at some of the retailers, uh, Brooks Brothers, a venerable company filing for bankruptcy. Best Buy yesterday, as you reported earlier, down 25 percent yesterday, uh, Walgreens, et cetera. So we're going to be seeing very important data come out in this second quarter reporting period. And quite frankly, those that miss are going to get hit quite hard. Uh, but those that exceed, such as FedEx earlier, uh, are likely to be uh, seeing some very strong price appreciation. So I think, in general, the market continues to look for a V-shaped recovery. We're calling for a 26 percent annualized gain in GDP in the third quarter, followed by a near 9 percent in the fourth quarter, and then 6 percent for all of next year. Uh, and the earnings expectations are uh, pretty much in line with those forecasts. So, Sam, I, I, I think I understand what you're saying to some extent that Things may worsen, and, but these are some of the stocks that wouldn't necessarily be as affected because they, they can actually do well if things do worsen COVID-wise. So, but, but my question is, initially, a, the, it was a rising tide, and the averages went up from those lows, and now people have said it's probably going to get tougher. Um, what you're seeing in these tech stocks now is the narrowing to where those, like yesterday, the NASDAQ was up, but the Dow was down. Does that show that there's a reason they're going up because they can still do well? Or is it just showing that the speculation has now moved into into the high flyers, the money from the Fed and everything else? I mean, is it a good thing or a bad thing? Well, I think it's a good thing, certainly for tech. And I don't necessarily think it's such a bad thing for the market overall. Um, Granted, right now we have 50 percent of the near 150 sub-industries in the S&P that are trading above their 50-day moving average, and that's down from more than 90 percent just a, a couple of weeks ago on June 8th. Uh, and also looking at the 200-day uh, moving average, you have only about a third of the sub-industries. So we've been coming down, in a sense, digesting some of the gains, uh, really sort of slowing the overall momentum. But when you look on a relative basis, which areas have the better strength? And we all know that growth stocks tend to do much better than value stocks in a low interest rate environment, which is where we are today. Okay. Sam, um, in terms of uh, the numbers we're going to see, earnings reports, how do you look through them? How do you not? And then the other piece of it is, you know, I think across the board, we mentioned it yesterday, you talk to institutional investors, they say two months, three months out from now, we're either going to get a vaccine or not. It's going to be binary. If you're in the market, you're going to win. If there is a vaccine, if you're out of the market and you're not, you're going to lose or vice versa. Do you agree with that assessment? Well, I think that uh, Wall Street is definitely looking beyond the valley. Uh, expectations are for a 45 percent decline in earnings this quarter, 25 percent decline for all of 2020, but then a 30 percent gain next year for large caps, 50 percent gain in earnings for mid caps, and a more than 100 percent surge for small caps. And we're also expecting to see very strong results for developed and emerging markets. So around the globe, uh, analysts are forecasting a recovery in earnings. And maybe one of the reasons for that is expectations for a vaccine to come out in the first half of 2021. 
Um, I don't think it's either just on or off, meaning we continue with a bull market or we fall into a depression. I think that the market continues to fluctuate. Uh, right now, we're in the third quarter, which historically is the weakest of all four quarters. We are coming up to the November elections. If the market declines, history basically says worry about uh, the potential for a uh, replacement of the administration. And that usually throws additional uncertainty and volatility into the market.